Hi everyone, today we are going to learn and understand the complete anatomical behavior of external abdominal oblique muscle. Why this muscle called external abdominal oblique? Because it present over abdominal region and it fibers oriented in an oblique direction. And why external? There are two muscles presented in an abdominal region and similarly mimicking the oblique direction. One muscle presented outside and another muscle presented inside. The outside muscle called external abdominal oblique. Inside muscle called internal abdominal oblique. Attachments of external abdominal oblique. Distally it attaches over the anterior iliac crest, pubic bone, western tubercle of pubic bone and abdominal aponeurosis. Proximally it attaches over the lower 8th rib, inferior border of ribs 5 to 12. And the proximal attachment of the rectangular abdominal oblique is more mobile attachment. So the proximal attachment called insertion. Distal attachment is less mobile attachment, more fixed attachment. So distal attachment called origin. Next we are going to understand the functions or movement of the external abdominal oblique. Always I am going to classify the movement in standard mover action and reverse mover action. Standard mover action is nothing but origin distal attachment or less mobile attachment is fixed. More mobile attachment insertion is moved towards origin that used to call standard mover action. First standard mover action look at anterior view of the external abdominal oblique. The fibers are running somewhat vertical manner, right? So if you pull this fiber in this way, it produces the movement of flexion of the trunk. Second moment, if you look at the lateral view of external abdominal oblique, the fibers in this in this direction, fibers are running somewhat vertical, somewhat vertical manner. So if you pull these muscle fibers in this way, it creates the movement of lateral flexion of the trunk. And third important moment of the external abdominal oblique is the both direction fibers are oriented in a completely in an oblique direction, right? Oblique direction. That's why that muscle called abdominal oblique. So if this muscle pulls like this, it creates a movement of contralateral rotation of the trunk. If this side muscle contract, it creates a movement of that side rotation. This side muscle create that produced moment of this side rotation. Okay. So finally, if external abdominal oblique muscle contract, it produce the combined moment of flexion, lateral flexion and contralateral rotation of the trunk. And also, it produce the moment of depress the rib downward and compress the abdominal cavity. Then we have to understand the eccentric action of the external abdominal oblique. It's nothing but very simple. It creates the movement of exact opposite what we have discussed now. So I will explain the eccentric function of the my right side external oblique, extension and opposite side lateral flexion and same side rotation. Next we are going to understand the reverse mover action. Reverse mover action is nothing but origin of the external abdominal oblique move towards fixed insertion portion that used to call reverse mover action. When we think about the spine, we used to think always the proximal part only can move towards distal part. But distal portion also can produce the movement towards the proximal part when during lying on the bed, turning movements. First the reverse mover action is think uh, the proximal insertion part is fixed or in move towards insertion if I pull this muscle fibers it attach over the anterior iliac crust if I pull like this it produces the movement of posterior pelvic tilt and slight lumbar flexion distal portion of the trunk move towards the proximal portion slightly other reverse mover actions also I will explain but understand this is not a majorly contributor major actions Think the fibers are running in this way. If it is pulls, distal part move towards origin. If it is pulls, create elevation of the 
fill this and the oblique fibers running and attaching the iliac is in this way if it is full in this way it create moment of expiratory rotation of the pelvis too isometric stabilization function it stabilizes the lumbar spinal joint and the pelvis and one of the important stabilizer of the core additional one more action i am going to explain look at the external oblique fibers are running in this way the same say internal oblique muscle going in this way oblique direction so it crossing forming an x pattern so if you see this side external oblique coming this way internal oblique going this way forming an x pattern so this external oblique and this internal oblique connecting each other in the form of oblique manner and oblique fiber orientation direction manner it produces the powerful rotation together relationship to the other structures external abdominal oblique situated lateral to the rectus abdominis and it one of the superficial muscle in all four muscle group deep to the external abdominal oblique present at internal abdominal oblique deep to the internal abdominal oblique present at transverse abdominis and other main points external abdominal oblique integrated with serratus anterior rib 5 to 9 and also the external abdominal oblique one of the laterally expanded muscle it integrated with latissimus dorsi laterally in rib 10 to 12 and also external abdominal oblique forming the lateral to spiral line key points first key point always we used to confuse with internal and external abdominal oblique muscle fiber oriented direction so i will give one important tip to understand that external abdominal oblique muscle is also called pocket muscle because when you wear coat or jacket if you put hand over it inside your finger orientation similarly mimicking the external abdominal oblique muscle fiber orientation so this muscle also called packet muscle second key point aponeurosis of the external abdominal oblique attaching asis anterior superior iliac spine to pubis this is forming the inguinal ligament third key point the aponeurosis of the external abdominal oblique also called rectus sheath because it covering the rectus abdominis muscle that's all hope you understand and enjoy this video if you want more content like this don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thanks for watching